Hello, I'm Connor Real reporting for the News Feed. This is your feed update for Thursday, February 12th. Three young adults were shot in North Carolina in what police are calling a parking dispute. Funeral services were planned for one of Raleigh's largest mosques, but with such a large crowd, the service was moved to the athletic fields across from the mosque. The fields are owned by North Carolina State University, where two victims had graduated and one was a student. At the service's conclusion, about a dozen people carried each of the three caskets away to hearses, which headed to an Islamic cemetery outside Raleigh. 23-year-old Dia Shadi Barakat, his 21-year-old wife, and her 19-year-old sister were killed. 46-year-old neighbor Craig Stephen Hicks is charged with murder. A former police officer is being prosecuted for killing a man in the small Colorado town of Rocky Ford. He has pleaded not guilty. James Ashby's lawyer entered the not guilty plea to a second degree murder charge in court in nearby, nearby La Junta on Thursday. Ashby is accused of shooting 27-year-old Jacques Haquez while on duty after following him into his home in October. He told investigators he thought Haquez might be a burglar and he feared he was getting ready to hit him with a bat. Ashby lost his job after he was charged. The shooting shocked the community on Colorado's southeastern plains where many wave at passing police cars and where suspects are often neighbors. On a brighter note, this Saturday may be for sweethearts, but every day is Valentine's Day in one section of Philadelphia. Dozens of love letter murals brighten the walls along nearly 20 blocks of elevated transit tracks. That makes the L a love train, and for one couple, the perfect place for a wedding. Neil Santos and Andrew Olsen got married last weekend. The specially chartered L included a narrated tour of the artwork by Steve Powers, who created them for the city's mural arts program. Finding them is like a scavenger hunt. You have to look up high, down low, and in between buildings. Tours are also available year-round for those who want to see this masterpiece. And that's it for your news feed update for this Thursday, February 12th. I'm Connor Real. Thanks for watching.